Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, four squares put together, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these uh, two white uh, squares are uh, identical. And this uh, red diagonal length uh, is uh, eight units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. In other words, the area of this uh, blue square and the area of this uh, blue square combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, the only info that has been given to us uh, that this uh, segment is uh, eight uh, units. And now let's make an observation. We can see the dimensions uh, of these uh, blue squares are not fixed. So therefore, we are going to think uh, outside the box and let's assume that this uh, small blue square is uh, negligibly small. Then as a result, uh, our this uh, blue shared region uh, is uh, going to become this uh, whole big uh, square, as you can see in this uh, new diagram. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, square. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, green shaded uh, square. Let's assume that this side length uh, is uh, x, uh, then this side length is going to be x uh, as well. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, right uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is 8, uh, and our two legs are x, uh, and x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, x square equals to 8 uh, square. Let's uh, simplify. We're going to combine the like terms on the left hand side is going to give us uh, 2x square equal to 64. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 and this way this 2 and 2 is gone, x square turns out to be equal to 32. Let me undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our x value is going to be equal to, if we simplify this square root of 32, that is going to give us uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length uh, of this uh, white square turns out to be 4 times square root of 2. And since uh, these uh, two squares are identical, so therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be 4 times square root of 2 as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length uh, of this uh, big uh, blue square is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths. Uh, 4 times square root of 2 plus 4 times square root of 2 is going to give us uh, 8 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore, all these uh, sides length uh, is going to be 8 times square root of 2 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, blue uh, square, this one we are talking about. And we are going to calculate the area of uh, this uh, blue square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square, where s represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of this blue square is 8 times square root of 2. So therefore, the area of this uh, blue square is going to be simply the side length is 8 times uh, square root of 2 whole square. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 128 uh, square uh, units, the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, square. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this uh, blue shaded region turns out to be 128 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.